Welcome everybody uh, to this video of the teaching research project mainstreaming sexual and gender related violence sensibilities into university course through photo voice experience. Uh, in this uh, video we are going to introduce uh, what we understand uh, with the concept of gender relation violence uh, in order to establish a common base for our work. This video, the material for this video, has been produced by myself, Barbara Biglia, from the Università Rovi de Virgili of Tarragona, Spain, and uh, my colleagues, uh, Alejandra Raiza, from the University of the Estado de Hidalgo of Mexico. Let's see what does we generally think when we uh, use the term gender violence. The stereotypical idea of uh, uh, gender violence is the one uh, uh, represented uh, in, uh, in this image. So uh, normally gender violence is mostly understood or mostly conceived as something physical. The psychological part is, has been introduced or has been understood as, as gender violence uh, in a second term. And this uh, mostly considered as something, uh, uh, sometimes is considered as something not so uh, important. Um, a part of this idea of uh, this uh, uh, psycho physical violence, uh, one of the things that normally is uh, common when we think about this concept is uh, to believe that there is a person, a single person, that is a clear perpetrator, perpetrator or aggressor uh, in this violence. Uh, this vision is extremely individualistic and uh, didn't recognize uh, the uh, social uh, uh, mm, complicity in the production of the gender-related violence. Uh, another of the idea that related with this is that women that receive this violence uh, are normally conceived as, as passive subjects that uh, are unable to take any action or unable to, de to decide on their life. And for this uh, reason, they are subject that have be to be protected by legislation, by norm, by policy, and whatever. Uh, this is, as we say, the stereotypical way of understanding gender, gender related violence, uh, gender violence. But in, uh, in fact, there is, exists different concept uh, uh, to approach these problematics. Uh, and these concepts are uh, related both with the context, uh, the social context in which they are produced, and uh, the legislation to which they are related. For example, for instance, in English, it's uh, mm, quite common to use the uh, expression gender-based violence uh, to mention the fact that this violence is based on the gender construction uh, of the subjectivities, or this, the term gender violence in general, or the term domestic violence, uh, that focused, put the focus on uh, the specific space of the house in which the violence uh, uh, can be reproduced. Uh, we want to highlight that the use of this term have a specific uh, uh, effect in the way in which we approach them. For this reason, we have decided to uh, use the expression gender-related violence, and we use specifically the plural of violence, even if we know that in English uh, it's common that violence is used singularly, but we want to highlight the fact that uh, there is many typology and many forms of expression of this violence. So we have used uh, the Latin way of uh, talking about violence in plural. So how we understand this generated violence uh, is all those forms of, of violence that have their origin in a stereotypical vision of gender and in the power relation that the, this entails or on which they are based. That means that uh, are not this, the gender of the subject that uh, produce the violence uh, the most important element, but the gendered relation that uh, uh, make possible this violence, uh, that is a condition of possibility for this violence, and that make that uh, this experience uh, uh, is lived in a specific way. Okay? Uh, let's go on. Some expression 
of this uh, gender-related violence, as I said before. Uh, there is not just one way, nor one subject that is uh, uh, that received this violence. Uh, in this sense, we have a uh, fake, like a uh, four image to represent it. Uh, the first one on the top uh, left of the of the video. I hope is the left. I'm not sure, but yes, they confirm is the left. Is uh, uh, the one of uh, an exotic exotization and erotization of uh, uh, women of color. Um, obviously, uh, we didn't want to be Puritan and say that uh, showing your body is, uh, is a violence. If it's, a sp is, if, if it's your choice, uh, is a perfectly valuable choice. But the fact that uh, uh, commonly uh, women of color are eroticized is a form of violence. Uh, then there is the typical uh, fa patriarchal family uh, in which the head of, uh, of the family is uh, controlling everybody, but especially the woman. Um, there is also the violence, the gen gender itself as a form of violence, and in this case we have used a picture of uh, the video in which uh, a boy wants to, to dance, and there is a social violence uh, against uh, his choice. Or the fact, for example, that when we walk in the street, we are all the time uh, scared about what can happen and about if someone is following us. So they are controlling us, our life. As you can see, our different form, obviously there are many more, but it's just to see the diversity of this uh, expression, okay? Uh, in this sense, we also we use also the term sexual violence uh, in four instances because we are working this moment uh, in the violence also within the university and the sexual violence is one of the problems uh, that uh, we found uh, are uh, more mm, concerning in these specific moments. Uh, we want to understand and uh, where this violence uh, as a specific form of gender-related violence. And uh, in this sense, okay, one of the things uh, uh, is, uh, is extremely uh, relevant to mention is that uh, we cannot be think that uh, sexual violence is just rape. There is, uh, even in this, uh, in this context, there is different expression of this violence, and we define it uh, like all those cases in which our sexual freedom is violated or that through our sexuality, our freedom, freedom as subject is violated. So, obviously, there is the force uh, to engage in sexual or sexualized uh, uh, acts, okay? But there is also the punishment uh, of the public expression of our sexual preference is also a form of sexual violence. The sexualization or objectivization of uh, the subject or their will, and uh, also, as we show in the previous picture, like when we, we are walking in the street, a form of controlling or treating us. Uh, we, s we say that uh, sex the gender related violence uh, uh, is not as a violence that uh, is performed just by one gender or one. Sub one uh, a subject that gen genderized in one way on another gender, or whether we have to recognize that there is a specificity and some subject for their inscription to one gender or another are more uh, uh, often uh, receiving this kind of violence. In this sense, obviously, uh, women are one of these subjects, but also any children uh, independently on their gender expression uh, or gender, and obviously all the LGTBE community that uh, are strongly uh, affected by these problematics. Um, however, we want to highlight again that we don't have to understand it as a problem between subject. There is many form of violence uh, that are social, communitarian, institutional, and sometimes uh, also the uh, inaction or the omission 
of uh, a form of violence, uh, for example, from a norm, is a way of violence in itself. So we have to understand and to approach in our course all these form of violence, of communitarian and social violence, uh, uh, that make it possible, and to acknowledge the social responsibility we all have in this sense. Uh, however, uh, is collective, is cultural, but the po social position of the subject matter. And this means that intersectionality makes the expression of the violence and the capacity or the uh, condition of possibility of reacting against this violence very different. Uh, for instance, uh, uh, women with uh, disability uh, may be more dependent of uh, a caring lover. And uh, if uh, this person uh, is ex exercising uh, gender violence uh, against her, it's, uh, she, she didn't have just to let uh, a partner, but also being able to separate to the person that is providing uh, uh, some of her basic needing. So all these elements can interact in a very, very complex array and very complex way. And when we approach this, the violence, we have to understand this. So uh, basically, we want to remember two basic concepts, uh, that gender and sexual uh, violence uh, has nothing to do with love or the pleasure of sex, but is an expression of lack of power. And also that they have a social function of being a, pro a project of control of the subject through the interiorization that we make uh, of, uh, for example, gender stereotype, gender mandate, uh, or, for example, the fear of uh, walking in a street alone. So, we have uh, tried to explain you a little bit, just a short introduction of what uh, gender-related uh, violence is, and uh, we hope you continue to work on it, and that uh, you experiment with the photo voice to create a new uh, understanding uh, of uh, gender-related violence. Thank you very much. <laughs>